How are you? My name is Michael Caves uh, McLear. I am director and actor in the short film The Shoemaker. And uh, basically it's like the little film that could. It was, um, we started out, uh, we had three weekends in my uncle's shoe shop and I wanted to tell a, an Italian-American story that wasn't negative, I wanted to tell something positive. Um, everybody has their American, coming to American, American dream story and being an actor or being a director, I felt like their story needed to be told. My grandparents' story, my wife's uh, parents' story, and so um, we had the chance in between uh, going out for auditions and waiting for your next part. The great thing about independent filmmaking is that, hey, you get a crew together, um, you, get some, you, uh, you get some dedicated people, and you, you make something happen. So like I said, we had three, week, uh, three Sundays in my uh, uncle's shoe shop. And he's been there since the 60s in Brooklyn, um, in this little shop, in this little neighborhood. And he still gets up every day and tinkers away. And the, the thing about it was, is like, uh, you know, working class guys, they, they live their life. And it's very humbling and noble that he's a shoemaker and he's, he's there uh, making an honest living. But I, I knew they had a dream when they came to America. It couldn't just be go to work nine to five or go to the union. I knew there was something, there had to be something special because I was a dreamer and they, they seen that I was a dreamer. They got a kick out of it. But I think my, uh, my wife's father, you know, he was a hard-headed Italian guy that I had to like uh, court her for the five, 10 years, help him make wine, help him fix his uh, roof. So I was just like, you know, he's a very, very no-nonsense guy. But I said, you know, he definitely had an American dream when he came here and I wanted to tell it. And, so I stumbled upon the story that they came to produce the first sneakers. They had a hunch that sneakers would be big in the United States because there was, they had, was a trend going on in Milan or wherever they, they had the automated machinery. So um, they came to America with the idea of starting this sneaker company. And I was like, okay, before Nike and Adidas, you know, there was these little, little you know, Italian guys that bring this machinery to America for the American dream to, you know, to, you know make it big right in America so um, I turned it into a, a, a little love story because my grandparents my grandmother's also Italian and she was a singer and dancer and I think that's where we got some of the storytelling from and um, I just want to pay homage to them because I knew you know uh, their story needed to be told so I enlisted a great group of people and um, and some talented actors and actresses and they they heard about the story and they loved it and I, I went and met with Burt Young. And Burt Young, uh, you, know, you know, no one gets better than Burt Young. And I, I really wanted him to be in this film. And I went, took him out for dinner, and I pleaded with him and told him the story, and it, it, it brought a tear to his eye. And he said he was, he was down to do it. So we got Burt Young, Peter Green, and uh, Bree Michael Warner, Alba Albanese, a great, great little crew of ac actors and actresses that did it for the love of the story. I was trying to tell them that, you know, I'm a storyteller ever since I was a kid. I, I started out as a graffiti artist at 10 years old, writing my name on the subways, and I needed a voice. And over the years, it just kind of matured into music and, and the arts. And in my neighborhood, there's not a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of support for the arts. It was working class neighborhood, Brooklyn, basketball, baseball, you know, gangster or cop. There wasn't a lot of choices. So, uh, it was nice to be able to to come up and find my way and find a voice and through filmmaking there's not a, a more beautiful medium because I did the music I did the art um, but to get it all into one one place and one format and that's what's great about film that's what's great, great about independent filmmaking you could tell these stories and it, you know um, so we went and got to work and we, it took three Sundays and, and we put together this little short and it's kind of like starting to get recognized and, and the performances on them are beautiful and I'm just an old soul so it just, I just, it just came on out. And it's, uh, that's, uh, that's how it came about and it's still, it's kind of picking up some momentum and, and but it's, uh, it's really a homage to my grandparents and, and, and my uh, wife's parents to just leave something behind for their grandchildren to say, oh, that's what grandpa and grandma was about and I go, yeah, yeah, and, you know, they had a dream and you could dream big too, and even though it didn't turn out the way they expected, 
they still had a, um, their legacy is their grandchildren and their children and maybe they're not Nike and Adidas and you know but it's it's a it's a great story and and I love the fact that the uh, New Hampshire Film Festival picked up on it this is a great town uh, beautiful setting and a, a great little uh, program so I'm, I'm I'm honored to be here